It is 649 right now, and if you take a look at the radar, there's a whole lot going on, but it is moving out, you say, for now. It is, so for drivers stepping out the door, just keep that in mind. We are going to be dealing with some wet roads, however, that is going to move on. We actually have our storm chaser, Mark Folta, out and about, just to give you a little view of what you can expect. Like I mentioned, just some wet roads, but for the most part, at least in Tulsa, we're not dealing with too much, just maybe some light drizzle on our dual Doppler radar, just to kind of give you a look at where he's at. He's just uh, continuing to push further towards the uh, 91st, actually. I lost him here, but we're just going to be dealing with some of that light drizzle. That heavy rain now continuing to push off further towards the east. Salisaw Fort Smith just continuing to deal with that. But man, this was a quick moving system just continuing to push off. We are expecting to stay dry for this afternoon. Any evening plans, just keep that in mind. We are going to be left with some cloud coverage. And also as you step out the door, visibility right now, a few areas reduced to around two miles in Claremore, two miles in Grove, Tulsa right now in four miles, low visibility out towards the west in Oklahoma City. So for the remainder of today, expect that cloud coverage. Some of us could see a few peaks of sunshine, but we're not anticipating too much of that. That, however, will return for us for tomorrow morning. Starting off later in this evening, we could see a few breaks in the clouds. However, this is 7 a.m. We'll finally start to see then a return of those northerly winds, temperatures in the mid 40s, and then we will finally see that sunshine for Friday afternoon, but it won't last too long as another round of rain arrives Friday evening into early hours on Saturday. So Friday for the most part dry. However, by the evening, we'll start to see some of this rain moving into the area that'll push off Further towards the east, very similar to what we saw today. This mainly will occur through the overnight hours. This is 320 in the morning. You can see a few areas could see some heavier bands of rain. Then that'll eventually push off lingering on further towards the south Saturday around lunch hour, but we'll be left with the cloud coverage again. Thankfully, though, we continue to have really good rain uh, total so far around two inches further towards the south. Any evening plans temperatures in the upper 50s, but we're going to keep a close eye out for Monday and Tuesday where we could see a few severe weather and then temperatures in the mid 40s.